Amani channel. This is webvideochefs.com. And if you want to know what will really make your video stand out, especially if you're just talking or have a talking head that's part of your video, a lower third. This is a question submitted from one of our community members, and I'll explain all about what lower thirds are and how you use them in this recipe. You've all seen lower thirds if you've watched any sort of news, documentary, anything that involves witnesses or people talking on camera, all right? You will see a lower third. Now, you may be wondering what a lower third is, so let me explain exactly what a lower third is, all right? And so there's an example right here on this YouTube video. So you see this little title that sits right below his, well, it's right below his neckline there. That is what's called a lower third. Why is it called a lower third? Well, it's also called a super, like broadcast people will call them supers or lower thirds. I'm not going to get into why, but this is what's called a super or a lower third, all right? And why it's called a lower third is because this title or graphic sits on a lower third of the frame. It has to do with the rule of thirds, which is another whole composition thing with when it comes to video production, all right? So this is an example of a lower third. And uh, let's see here. This is an example of a lower third. And so someone in our community asked me the question, you know, how do you make that graphic? What is it? And how do you make it in, when you're when you're editing a, a program? And so I'm going to explain exactly um, how you can create a lower third or where you can get lower thirds from. All right. So first of all, um, let me just explain this lower third. So this is a lower third that Chip Dizard, who's my partner in Baltimore, he actually designed this using Adobe After Effects. I can have him or we can have him actually do a tutorial on how he exactly created this lower third, all right? But if you don't um, wanna uh, to create it in After Effects, if you're not that savvy, uh, most editing programs actually have preset lower thirds in them, all right? Now, I'm gonna right now show you how you can create a lower third. All right, so we are in ScreenFlow, which is a program that allows you to do screen capture recordings. I'm actually using ScreenFlow right now to record this, so don't think about it too hard, all right? Because I'm showing you how to create a lower third in ScreenFlow as I'm recording it, so. All right, don't, don't let that throw you off, all right? So I'm on this little um, annotations properties uh, window here, all right? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna add an annotations clip. And that's gonna allow you to, uh, let's do this right here, and we will create a box here, all right? I'm just gonna do a basic lower thirds. I'm gonna adjust the color a little bit here. Let's just uh, line it up there, something like that, all right? And then we go into the, and you can do some other things here. You can uh, put a shadow and and that, that kind of gives it a nice little look there too, even an outline, all right? So that just, uh, you can just play around with that stuff there, all right, as you feel. You can adjust the thickness, adjust the, the outline, etc. cetera, all right? We're not worried about that too much. Then what you wanna do is go to the title tool, all right? And go to add text box, all right? So we're gonna add a text box right above that, all right? And let's uh, go ahead and we can just start typing here, all right? So I'm gonna put Amani channel. And let's adjust the size. I'll bring that down to, let's bring that down to a uh, too small, better. All right, that works for me, all right. And let's, uh, well, let's see if we can change the background color. Just change it here and we'll put it, uh, it looks ugly. So I'm just gonna play around with this here and get this to look right. That works good enough for me. All right, so there it says Amani channel. There's the first line, all right. And let's create one more here. Add another text box. And I'm just gonna type in web video chefs dot com. All right, we're gonna get rid of that backdrop. Bring it here and we will adjust the size of it as well. Bring that down to let's say 72, all right. This is a very basic example of a lower third, all right, just to give you an example, all right? So there it is now, Amani channel, webvideochefs.com, and then I will play this for you here. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... 
worth an ounce of beverage isn't that much. In the whole universe of the world, maybe not, but it means that at least some of you are. All right, now with ScreenFlow, you can do some other things, like you can add a starting and ending transition. So we'll do that, and we, this allows it to fade up and fade down. So I'll just show you how to do that real quickly here. Let me just adjust this. Do the same thing here. And then I'm gonna change this to a cross dissolve, all right? Hopefully this is answering your question though. All right, cross dissolve. And we'll do two more, cross dissolve, and one more, cross dissolve. Now what does that do when you do that with ScreenFlow? Well, this allows it to kind of fade in and fade out. This isn't that much. In the whole universe of the world, maybe not, but it means that at least some of you are enjoying our experience. All right, so that is a basic lower third, all right? Now let's go ahead and take this one step forward because I actually have a custom lower third that Chip Desard a design. So let's go ahead and we will insert, we'll go to choose, and now let's go find it here, all right? So it's somewhere in here, it's new lower third, it's here. So let's go ahead and drag that down. Oh, we gotta open it. All right, so let's just go ahead and open this. And there it is there, all right? <laughs> And now that lower third is going to animate in, all right? Because that's sort of how it's designed. Now let's go ahead and click on the effect here. And you notice it's a little bit too big for the screen, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to video properties and we're going to rescale it, all right? All right, till about there. And then we can adjust it also. So it's about there, all right? And now you will see this build in. It means that at least some of you are enjoying our content enough to uh, get it sent, delivered right to you through YouTube. And so I just want to say thank you. And then it builds out, all right? So that's pretty cool, all right? So that's a custom design lower third that Chip does our design. Now, what if you don't want to exactly design your own lower third, but you don't want to, you can't, like, you don't want to go into After Effects, you don't want to use, like, um, Screen Flow to design your lower third, and you want to get, like, a cool lower third. Well, let me show you now a place where you can go online to buy lower thirds, all right? So I am at Envato's VideoHive.net site, and you can actually search for lower third packages that you can order. So this particular package is only $12, and within it you get uh, several different lower thirds. So I'm just gonna play through this demo video to kind of see what it looks like, and then you're able to download them, and then customize them in either Motion or After Effects. So if you have no experience at all, you can create your own lower thirds, so you can customize them based upon these um, template packages. All right, so you definitely have some options there when it comes to lower thirds, all right? But lower thirds are a great way to make your videos look very professional. They'll make them look clean, they'll make them look official. And so if you just wanna add that little extra sprinkle of spice on your videos, use a lower third. Hopefully this answered your question and then some Amani channel. This is what video chefs, and you can always ask us a question wherever you find this video. So if you're on YouTube, ask us a question there. You can email us a question at ask at webvideochefs.com. Check out our site where you can subscribe to our newsletter and get free tips, tricks, and swag delivered right in your inbox. And also, if you wanna check out my ScreenFlow course, you can check that out too. Just click on the annotation below. All right, and you'll learn how to make cool videos using ScreenFlow just like this one. But you gotta have a Mac, because that's how we roll. Peace. Brown College, the historically black school in Atlanta that was built for.